That's why in every video or almost every video we mention that the channel is going to go away because we're trying to make you aware that you need to live now where there will be no other opportunity to do so. Well, I wish I found that clip before I made my last video. I've done musical comedy, but that was long ago. And since then, I've done cosplay, vlogs, a cooking show. Speed drawings, well, I've done a few. Skateboarding and funny skits, I've done that too. So maybe I'll do a review. So I wrote this little song for my new show, Grants Rants. Okay, so I admit that I was wrong. My theory was that Unus Anus was actually part of a bigger thing, and I thought that it would tie into the Markiplier Darkiplier lore, but I haven't watched Markiplier for a long time, so I'm not sure if he still keeps up with that. And on top of that, I'm basing my information off of four videos that I've watched, two of them being about a year ago. Let's just say that I didn't have enough time for research. Now the point of my last video was not necessarily to be right, but to start a conversation. Because to be honest, I'm kinda glad that the channel was deleted and that I was wrong. Because what it created was something unlike any other channel on YouTube ever could. Now before we get into why I believe that, let me explain to you how Mark and Ethan changed my entire outlook and perspective on life in just a few days. This began when Mark posted a video on his channel informing us that we had less than a week to watch and catch up with every Unis Honest video before the inevitable was to happen. But that was the point, was it not? For those who had the time to go along on this journey and experience history in the making only to have it disappear forever while the rest of us wonder what it is we missed out on. And I'll be honest, when it began, I had a strong desire to watch it. We only have so many hours in a day to do what we love, and since I already had a YouTube channel to maintain, within a week, I slowly lost interest. And as a result of living, an entire year passed me by, and now I have to play catch up. My strategy for getting the most out of this channel without having seen everything was this. I needed to prioritize the episodes that I felt would have a bigger impact on my life than others, mainly because I don't have enough time to start from the beginning and work my way up. So instead what I did was I looked for specific key videos that I felt were meaningful and reflective. The first video that I chose was Ethan and Mark being brutally honest with each other and quite frankly that was actually the best video that I could have started with. You see I began my YouTube journey about 12 years ago and since then I've been trying to prolong my relevancy on this platform. Through the evolution of my content I slowly began losing viewers every time I tried something new. And this was especially true when I decided to do a daily vlog series during quarantine. In fact, it was so bad that YouTube Studios warned me that I'd be dropping in AdSense as well as views of my overall channel if I decided to pursue this path. And being unemployed along with having a global pandemic at our midst was not the best plan in the world. But by doing so, I felt something that I had not felt in a long time the happiness to have the freedom to create what I wanted to make. Not just for other people, but for myself. This allowed me to take a step into a direction that I was somewhat passionate about. And it also gave me the realization that I'm not necessarily happy doing what makes my channel grow. I began looking for a way out. I started by resurrecting two old series on my channel that I haven't done in a while. One of them being Sanji Vlogs, the other being Grants Rants. Both were still partially in the realm of my channel, but it allowed me to make more elaborate content. Not just con vlogs or cosplay montages whenever a convention was around. And spoiler alert, we haven't had them in a while. Despite the fact that I was having fun and enjoying the content that I was creating, I could clearly tell that my audience wasn't there for me. They were there for the cosplay and the half-naked lady. Which brings me back to this particular video that I was talking about and why it was so important that this was the first video that I saw. Starts off pretty straightforward. They talk about the good times, the bad times, what they learned from each other. But then 18 minutes in, the mood gets very emotional and this happens. Because I had just been in this rut for a few years where I was just like, okay, I'm at this point now where I can do my own stuff, but what am I gonna do with it? If any other creator there f out there feels like they're stuck in a rut, learn to let go. Mm -hmm. That's the other big part of Unis Honest is if you feel like you're trapped, you never are stuck in doing what you're doing. If at any point you're a Let's Player and you decide that you want to do something else, go for it. Mm -hmm. There's no reason that you should feel locked into creating things that you don't want to make. YouTube is your opportunity. So just take the leap. And if it's good, or even if it's bad, at least you'll make yourself happy.
Now I've heard that said by many creators, and I've even heard that from my friends, but for some reason, at this particular time, in this particular setting, everything just kind of clicked and it made sense. I began to realize I related more to Ethan than Mark. And I'll be honest, I haven't really paid much attention to Mark's friends from his past videos, but this time, I did. And when Mark gave Ethan advice, it felt like he was speaking to me. The combination of talents that you have is very rare. Mm. And it's all up to you about how to execute on those. Mm. Even though I was only present for the tail end of this lifetime, I felt that this channel impacted me unlike any other. It's such a shame that a channel that gave me clarity is already gone. But, you know, I'm okay with that. We can't possibly expect to obtain all the knowledge in the world all at once. And for the moments that we miss, there's a reason for that. I feel like we have to find little bits and pieces of ourselves through time in order to make things right. If we were given all the information at the very beginning, we'd surely waste it, and we wouldn't take it to heart as we would if we were about to lose it. So in honor of Unis Anis, I'm creating a new channel, and I decided to name it Grant of All Trades, or GOAT for short. And of course, I'll still upload on this channel every so often, but I feel like right now, a brand new start is where my focus should be. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you on my new channel. There should already be a video up there and I can't wait to take you guys on a new adventure. I'll see you on the other side, but for now, Momento More, remembering death. Time is so fleeting and yeah. so valuable, it's invaluable. There's so little of it that you have in a day. Yeah. Unisan yeah. is special. Yeah. It really, really is. Especially to us. Yeah.